What's your name? I am Tucker Children. Yes, you are. And I've never said that until now into the camera. Tucker, um, can you tell us a little bit about winter outreach? Yes. Um, when I started, when we started um, the Dorothy Day co housing community, uh, I had to pay rent, and that was a new experience for me, and I had to actually have some money. <laughs> Uh, so I got a part-time job working with homeless, I found out that one was opening up, and I got a part-time job with BJC Behavioral Health on the Homeless Outreach Team, which a job which I love, if you go to work, it's pretty wonderful work, uh, being with people who are homeless in downtown. Anyway, through that, I will just to make it brief, because Jenny is so tired. Oh, I know. To make You're it brief, brief. I want to say that, um, I just got to know the people downtown and how many of them didn't have housing and how many people on the city don't have housing. And I think I knew that at Karen House, but some way you just kind of hope everybody's finding a place. But when you start getting to know them all and you know that they're really out every night. Um, and then, as many people know, um, I tried to help a man who died in the winter. And that really radically changed me. Uh, and I felt very sad about it and, and um, asked people to join me in gathering together to try to do things to prevent that as much as possible. And so we began this winter outreach uh, where we'd go out at night and find folks who were outside uh, and as much as possible offer them certainly blankets if they wanted, but a, a way to get to shelter and a place to go if we could find a place for them and if they wanted that. And we'd drive them to shelter. And hundreds of people have taken part in this and gotten involved because they're all wild and crazy and, and love all these folks that they've met because uh, we've all just been transformed by that. And it's been really transforming to meet these folks who are really ourselves on the street. And so um, uh, it's very much what's, so what happened is we tried to get places for people and we were, we were always frustrated because um, the, there was no space at the inns. <laughs> they were all full and um, the city would sometimes open a winter shelter, but it, would, it just there were unending problems. I was having um, discussions with people about trying to get the city to open a shelter. We were, I was writing emails of my frustration, you need to open a winter shelter, blah, 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 blah. And at the same time, I was working on a um, roundtable issue on Peter Morin, and I was the one uh, compiling his easy essays, and I had just read an essay uh, don't go to the meeting. Basically, house people yourselves. Um, and I think I even read that. I'm not sure I even had that much thought about it, but I was lying in bed and haunted by Peter Martin, who came to me and said, why are you going to the meeting? <laughs> so I woke up that next morning and I wrote an email to everybody I knew and said, you know, it would be great, city, if you want to provide shelter, you should. But we all should. We all need to. It's not just your job, it's all of our jobs. And I hope you will, but I'm not just going to wait for you to do it. Uh, we can all find a place. We all need to do something about this. So why don't we, and so I, we started asking groups to open space. And um, we're now up to seven or maybe eight, it might be eight this year, different places have opened uh, hospitality shelter. Our shelters are based on the Kelly Booker model. They're all volunteers. They are, we're all volunteers who take people, we're volunteers who look for them, we just share our lives with our, our friends and people who are on the street. And um, the shelters are from churches and also non-churches, different community groups like AmeriCorps. And um, there we make our decisions by consensus at our meetings and we have, um, it's, uh, People just do it at their own expense, kind of bring some, some person brings food, people spend the night, people look at cots together, and it's just been a real community effort. And I'll end by saying um, what I tell people all the time is uh, by doing this, that night that I tried to help this man, I was, he was alone, and I tried to help him. When I was unable to, and he died, I was alone. Now none of us is alone any longer. Amen.